six days a week, all our shifts. You can always do something right, even if it's going wrong. Is this what you want to do, or is there something else you would like to do? Get a mentor. We live a life of abundance. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show, Coffee with Kunal. This morning, I have the dynamic duo, Chris Kelso and Rob Cook with us today. And they're going to be unwrapping for us the strategy for growth, partnership, and success with a favorite radio show, which is called Rat Pack, that comes in every morning on Saturday at 9 a.m. on 100.7 FM, iHeartRadio on KKHT. And this journey has been going on for years and years and years. And the commitment to being on the radio show every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, wow, that's incredible. Talk to us about the radio show and how that evolved over all these years. Well, you want to go first, Chris, or you want me to... I'll let, I'll let Rod discuss oh. it first, and then, I'll, and then I'll, I'll let you know the real story. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, we sometimes have conflict of, of memory. Let's put it all that right. way. So, but, that's a good but, way of putting but, it. But let's put it this way. We were on a show together. We had, a, we had great uh, dynamics together, and, and we said, you know, we really should do a show. And so about, for about a year, I, I, I didn't say I harassed him every day. I just said, you know what, if, but often. You harass uh, me every day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but often. And we said, you know, if we're going to do it, let's do it. Chris found the venue, KKHT 100.7. And uh, we started in March of 2013. So we're, wow. uh, we're in our eighth year. Wow. And seven, eight years back, so the radio show came along. But what was the inspiration? Why Rat Pack Show? The name, how did that come out around? Well, well, it, yeah, it's the Real Estate Rat Pack Show. Okay. It's the, yeah. the official name of the show, and, and it uh, kind of came out of... Um... It came out of a show that we did together. So one of the things that we did, we were on, there's a, a home inspector who's no longer around, um, and we were on his show together. And so at that time, it was real estate, home inspection, Lending, I think there was insurance. It was a little bit of everything, right? Credit, uh, credit, credit rep- preparation, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So it was, there was a term on the show that said, we have a real real estate rat pack going on here, huh. right? That's sort of where it came about. Um, and, and Bob, uh, obviously, uh, is no longer with us in this world anymore. But I always credit it back to that because that was sort of how it happened was when Rob started hounding me later on, I was joking with him on this. We talked about it. and We, we sat down and he said, you know, the concept of the show is about everybody, it's about community. And we said, well, what's the best way? And he said, and Rob, I never forget he said this, he said, you know, I always like the real estate rap pack because we're gonna bring in everybody in the industry. We're not gonna be limited to one segment. And I'm like, I love it, let's make it happen. And that's how it sort of happened. Well, let's face it, real, real estate yeah. touches everything. I mean, everything. I don't care what business you're in, you're, you're, you're in real estate somewhere, maybe in an office, maybe you're working at your house, it doesn't matter, you, you are in real estate. So uh, whatever maybe line of work that someone's in, we can relate it back to real estate because it's it's huge, encompassing industry. Correct. You could be at a networking event, at a barbecue. Everybody likes to talk about real estate. Yeah, you're in How's real estate. How the market doing? How the interest rates? You know, foreclosures, home opportunities, lending market. It's all kind of great topic to discuss. When you think about how huge that industry is, do you think about? Uh, the ancillary businesses along with real estate. You know, you're talking about mortgage, you're talking about insurance, you're talking about uh, trades. I mean, you think how vast that industry is. It is huge. Now, of course, you have the radio show, but you're also the godfather of real estate, being in this business for over four decades. You've been the chair for HAR, you won Realtor of the Year Award, you've been partnered with NAR, HAR, TAR, all the way to a national level. A lot of leadership over there, whereas for you, you've been in the lending business for I almost... I have all those credentials, you're right. That's right. Those only for a godfather. It can only yeah. be, there yeah. can only be one godfather. He was busy making money while I was out. <laughs> but someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. That is correct. So lending business for almost two decades, and what's known about you, you're a big brand person. You drive a big truck wrapped with all your branding, but over the years, as you transition your career growth with you know, mortgage company X or lending company Y, but the Chris Kelso Group is consistent year over year over year. So with your experience with HAR, with real estate, experience with lending, you guys bring a good mix onto the radio show. And like you said, you bring on guests from all walks of life, all brokerages, you're not married to A, B, or C, which is really, really great because what you're doing is 
bringing people on to share the knowledge base and expertise with anyone who wants to listen into that business. Yeah, well, we actually brought on the lead singer of Chicago one time. You did? Yeah, yes. it was awesome. Yes. Interesting. I mean, we, we, we can make it work. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's our show. We can do what we want, right, type of thing. So. And I would, say that, I would say the one thing we talk about is the show is all about giving back to the community, right? It's about giving back and have, giving everybody a voice to be able to express themselves, to be able to come on, to be able to highlight who they are, what they do. Because sometimes I feel that real estate, just like lending, we don't do a good enough job of showing the good aspects of who we are and what we do. I mean, the realtor community is one of the best about giving back to community, right? But you don't see it enough. Um, they're also one of the best about being caring about what they do every day of their life. So that's one of the things that we try to do is make sure that we highlight every single week what the community does, how it gives back, the individuals that are involved with it. And Rob and I always have one thing we talk about is the day the show becomes unfun and becomes a job, we're going to stop doing it. And eight years into it, and it's still it's, hilarious as ever, yeah. and it's still going strong. And, and we tell everybody is, everyone who comes on the show is part of the extended Rat Pack family now. You're a Rat Packer. We are. All rat, so the show isn't about Rob and I, it's about the entire community. Yeah, they're saying, yeah. how can you be a Rat Packer? There's only two of you. I go, everybody who's a guest <laughs> is now part of the Rat Pack. So everybody's yep. included in it. Of course, we... Uh, you know, we're famous for our breakfast afterwards. We have Chef Kelso here. I, uh, Nick He's got up. some great cooking skills. I yeah. mean, his <laughs> omelets, oof, they come, come fluffy with all the fixings. And, oh, and it's delicious. We had it this past weekend. This past it was weekend. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And so, of course, we, uh, we have expanded uh, on that. So we have our uh, wonderful friend, uh, Michael Roddy, who's also a realtor, who uh, does a great job supporting us uh, for breakfast. But... Uh, that's the piece. That's the piece that uh, really bonds us. Is that when you break bread with somebody, that's an intimate thing to do, and that's where relationships are built. The radio show is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but the breakfast and the camaraderie afterwards is where we built the best relationships. Absolutely. And the radio show is a radio show. A business model is business model. It's the chemistry, respect for one another. I understand. You look at Chris Kelso as your mentor. You look at Rob Cook as a mentor and over all these years it's just not friendship and hanging out doing radio show but you lean on each other and support each other and make each other better than the last per last time they were at you know i'm a big believer in, and and i tell this all the time is you will never get anywhere in life if you don't have mentorships friendships people you can trust and and between the both of you individuals i can trust in, implicitly and yeah. everything and rob and i have a, just you know we, we we talk a lot we share experiences we share stories we share opportunities we share cries we share hugs um you know um we share you know opportunities when rob says that's not a good hire and other time he's like that's a great hire <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i've actually been actually i've done a good job of picking your hires and, yeah, and, and tell you what and tell you which ones aren't going to work and uh so far i'm 100 percent. he's 100 percent. i would agree so um you know, but but it's that friendship number mm -hmm. one. There's the, you know, and to be able to show and bring that friendship into a medium in which we can share it with, you know, in any given case, four hundred thousand listeners and thousands of people online. It's just it, it it brings happiness to us, and more importantly, it's us being able to give back. I, I think it's a great thing. Big on so if you want to get in the show, get in touch with Rob Cook. But if you want to plan it out weeks in advance, that'd be a Christian person. Well, it was so fantastic having the two of you in the show. Rat Pack Show, we all listen to it, tune in on Facebook. Well, we're going to be tuning in even more now because now we know more about your background, your profile, and what gets you guys going every yeah. day. And by the way, just to let everybody know who's listening to this right now is that you're one of our great sponsors for our oh, show. I've listened to your ad. I don't know if you heard your ad yet. I've got them. I, they're going to get that AP3 for me. I, I asked for it. Uh, but if you want to get on the show, get with Canal. Sure. Yep. I may even get you, I have a hookup with these guys. I can get you in ahead of other people. people. <laughs> now that, that, that's one of the privileges of being a sponsor is bringing Correct. people on the show. Yeah. Some people that you might want to be, maybe you're recruiting or you want to reward some of your uh, people because you've got some great people. Right. Or, or I should say, we have some great people. Absolutely, we do. Yes. This, this was, was fantastic having you guys in our Rack Pack show. You know, we've got decades and decades of more radio show watching with you guys on Facebook and on 100.7 FM iHeartRadio on KKHT. I got that right this time. You, you did. Right. Absolutely. You nailed it. You nailed it. But again, thank you guys for having us, for being on the show. It was great having coffee. And have a great day. Six days a week, 12 hour shift. You can always do something right, even if it's going wrong. Is this what you want to do, or is there something else you would like to do?